Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Straighten myself out. Alright, today I am going to review the Caden Head 28 year old single barrel Little Mill. Little Mill, Lowland, not all closed distilleries are worth the fuss. So a lot of them, they become valuable because they're closed and everyone wants one. Everyone wants one because they can't get them anymore. In fact, you know, a lot of the ones we've tried can be a little bit boring or even shit. Um, certainly old style, certainly different style to what you get now, but a lot of those probably failed because they were put into blends and they didn't need them anymore. And so if they don't need them anymore, they probably thought, oh, why bother? It's a shame because some of them were really, really good. And Little Mill is one of those distilleries that is absolutely phenomenal. What a shame it's closed. What the hell do they do? There's no backsies on that. This one here is 1990 to 2019, 50.7% ABV from one bourbon hogshead. And that is 282 bottles. Let's get pouring. Let's get sniffing. Let's get sipping. Oh, straight away from the start. Beautiful. Just so syrupy, so viscous, so intensely flavoured. I'm getting a uh, overripe peach, overripe apricot, oh no no, overripe peach, overripe nectarine I think. Oh. I'm getting a peppermint, menthol on the nose and very distinctly, distinctly a sugar syrup. I'd say a brown sugar syrup, perhaps. Oh, wow. Brown sugar syrup. <coughs> I'm getting some uh, strong hints of vanilla in there. A pinch of, um, a little pinch of pine resin. You know when you take those pine cones and you're having pine cone wars? That smell. You can definitely, definitely get that bourbon hogshead influence. Oh wow, what a nose, what a nose. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There is something funky about this one. I mean, it's generally fruity, sweet, sugary, a little bit of menthol, but there's something funky about it. Can't put my finger on it. A slight smoke in the distance. But the smell you get from it is a, when you open an old chest with books, newspaper, um, blankets, old blankets. I'm getting some of that as well. Oh, wow, absolutely glorious. I can sniff this all day. I can sniff this like a, a deviant a deviant tradesman sniffing your laundry. Oh, wow. No effect to the tradesman. But for some reason, you know, like when they have hidden camera shows, it's, it's, for some reason tradesmen do it all the time. I don't know why. I mean, you would assume by now that in the age of cameras, you, you're not going to go and sniff people's laundry, you know what I mean? In a way, sorry. I digress. Anyway, so yes, the nose. It smells a little bit like um, nail polish, just like that real sharpness, but in the best possible way. It's really strange. Just like when you've already been addicted to the nail polish, and then you smell it. So it's not unpleasant. It's a, real, it's a relief. It's, it's a little bit of a, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. There's like a weird powdery smell to it as well, um, like a green vegetation. Um, not the pine resin, but a green vegetation to it. Slightly digital character. Oh wow, let's get sipping. Oh. Oh. Lemon peel. Candied lemon. Citrus on the palate. Like a drop of lemon juice and a little bit of honey, like a toddy. Oh wow. 
Mm-mm-mm. There's a herbal note to it as well. There is a herbal note to it as well, but I can't escape the fusty opening chest smell. It smells like old books, like old leather bound books. Not quite leather bound, but old books. Slight smoke on the palate, the back of the nose, the finish is just overwhelming my mouth. It is fantastic. The texture, the mouthfeel is just so full. It is absolutely glorious. Like, I'm still tasting it now. The finish just doesn't want to subside. 50.7, the ABV is not even that, lo that, that high, but at 28 years old, you can tell this is a well-aged son of a bitch. Mm. I'm getting a slightly soapy sensation as well. A slightly soapy sensation, strawberry yogurt, but lemon. It's lemon peel, candied lemon, just lemon. It's buttery, it's slightly creamy. Oh my god, that is good. Oh, that is good. That makes me all, all excited and moist and sad. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. After a few more sips, after a few more sips, you really get this. I can't put my finger on it. Like um, almost like a grapefruit pith, like a slight bitterness to it. Not in a bad way, of course. I mean, this is fantastic. Look, uh, to conclude, mm, this is what an experience of a closed distillery single barrel should be. Closed distillery, you have the romance, you have the, the legend, and then you meet your hero and then it lives up to it. It doesn't disappoint you, you know? Your hero is not some degenerate, alcoholic, cokehead that you know, it's passed out on his trailer. You meet your hero, and it's a proper, proper gentleman celebrity. You know, a nobleman. And this one here is just fucking fantastic. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I would give this an absolute thumbs up perfection, this bottle. No flaws, no complaints, absolute perfection. Perfect balance of edge, fire, roughness and a little bit of a rustic nature and at the same time it's so friggin refined and just so so well put together and a single barrel this is a perfect storm this is a perfect storm for a single barrel because single barrel you're really at the mercy of that one barrel you can't blend the shit out you know you can't put two or three in there and go oh let's just iron the kinks out no 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 unforgiving a single barrel and this one here is just absolute perfection if you can find this absolutely jump on it absolutely jump on it cigar pairings it's actually ballsy enough to match cigars i would say something uh, a triple maduro or a maduro uh, nothing too spicy even though it is ballsy and even though it is quite prominent in complexity it's not actually yeah it's going to get overshadowed it's going to get overshadowed by something like a super strong cigar, super peppery cigar. It is still a very relatively nuanced whiskey and at every sip it develops and develops. It's a whiskey that makes you think, which is fantastic, but at the same time, super palatable and super enjoyable. Um, look, until next time, let me know your thoughts. Have you had Cadenhead Little Mills before? Let me know what you've had. Have you had this before? Let me know what you think. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink, and uh, cheers.